tell you what happened before I start. I'm going to tell you what happened on my way here. I, uh, I stopped at my buddy Brad's, who lives across the street at Princess Towers. And as I'm walking down the sidewalk, I fucking slip on ice. Uh, uh, anyways, yeah, I slip on ice. And I somehow, be between like March and November every year, I forget what a clear and present danger ice is to overweight men. <laughs> it's, it's, it's deadly, it's there, it's a silent killer, it's there, and it will get you. I went down and it fucking hurt. And it hurt physically and emotionally because that's like, like top tier, like top fucking shelf embarrassing shit that can happen to you when you're a fat guy. It is up there with like taking your sweater off and your fucking t-shirt sticks and your t-shirt butt. No, fuck that actually. It's even worse. It's fucking like, it's like seeing your fucking dietitian at a Chinese food buffet. That is the level of embarrassment that fucking falling on the ice is. Anyways, that's, I just had to tell you that. Because <laughs> it was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so this next little story happened, it happened uh, no, last week. I was at uh, a comedy club watching a comedy show. Not this one, another one in town. I won't say the name, but it's absolutely not downtown. It's. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm watching the show, it's before the show, and I have my cell phone out, and I'm texting, I'm by myself, so it's okay, and, and this woman leans over to me, she's like, excuse me, sir, could you put away your cell phone, please, the show's about to start. Fucking technology, didn't say fucking, I put that in. So technology is ruining society. And I said, I started thinking to myself, really, you fucking ignorant cunt, is that what is ruining society? You figured it out? You figured it out, it's technology ruining society? And then I started thinking, like, if somehow I ever got into a position of power, like somebody slipped up and whatever, I was in charge of anything, I would have a secret police of some sort, like a fucking anti-technology Gestapo, just rounding up all the dumb twats like her, our anti-technology and sending them to like a fucking desert island uh, like penal colony with no technology. You get a lean-to and like a spear if you're lucky. <laughs> when you get there, you get a fucking root canal on the house, no anesthesia. You get 19th century dental tools. I don't know if you've ever seen those, but they're all props in Saw movies now. Okay, you get that for free. And there's toilet paper everywhere. But it's way out of reach. <laughs> you get to see it, but you can never, ever use it. And it's there to remind you what a comfortable fucking life you've had in technological society. And to remind you how badly you fucked up complaining about it. <laughs> okay? That's like, that's what I think about at night. I think about this shit. Because technology is fucking amazing. It's like, I fucking, I love it, I don't know about you guys, but it's, it's incredible, like, the iPhone and shit is amazing. Um, um my fucking nose is, is dry. <laughs> Very dry. Oh, if anybody has water, <laughs> feel free to bring it up. Anyways, yeah, so I, I, I'm getting excited about technology because I, I, the world is getting closer and closer to like a, a matrix style world that I've just, I've been like dreaming about since the fifth grade. I've been dying for something like that. You know, you know that scene where uh, the helicopter is there and Keanu Reeves like, you know how to drive that helicopter and then they download the information in the bitch's head and she can fly the helicopter? That's how I feel about my iPhone. It's like, I just, it's like, do you know how to poach eggs? I do now. <laughs> do you know how to switch out a fucking spark plug? I, yeah, I do now. It's like, can you give a woman multiple orgasms? It says here that it's possible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I'm just so glad that, that the whole Rob Ford scandal, witch hunt, whatever it was, has kind of just, has kind of started to go away, you know? I feel like the whole thing was fabricated just like to make the US pay attention to us for a little bit. It's like, it's like, it's a cry for help. It was like self-harming, you, like you cut yourself, dad pays attention for a couple of weeks. That's, a, that's what that whole thing was. And I can't believe everybody was up in arms about that shit. Like, I, I just, I can't bring myself to care about politics, especially Canadian politics. 
Because it doesn't, it, it never affects me. Um, like, if some guy steals a bunch of money, I, I don't care. Because he, he didn't steal, like that Mike Duffy guy, he stole $100,000. He didn't steal that from me. In the grand scheme of things, he maybe stole what, like fucking seven cents from me? <laughs> Who cares? Take it. I wipe my ass for seven cents. It's difficult, but I do it. If somebody broke into my car and stole seven cents, how can I be mad about that? I would be an asshole for being mad about somebody stealing cents from me. I'd be the bad guy. Now, on the flip side of that coin, if Mike Duffy came to my house, he sucks down a bowl of Cheerios. He empties the milk and he doesn't replenish the bag. Now we have a problem. I can feel I don't like refilling the bag, especially if I didn't empty the milk. Okay? Now we have an issue. I would be pissed. I'd be in front of Parliament picketing. Mike Duffy must be killed. He entered the milk and it wasn't refilled. Something along those lines. Okay? Same thing goes for Rob Ford. Guy smokes crack in his downtime. <laughs> Who cares what he does? When, you know, at, in the comfort of his home, it's not, it's not like I'm walking down Spadina Street and he's just like, and <laughs> in my face. I can't feel, you know, it's not like he's doing this. Again, old Bobby Boy comes to the house, we're catching the Argos game, and he's smoking crack in the house. Mom comes over, she can smell it. Okay, now she's pissed, now I'm pissed. Do you see how that works? I mean, I have to be able to feel it, okay? <laughs> Man, that guy is hilarious. Okay. He's hilarious. He should be, honest to God, he should be Prime Minister. Think about it, think about it. The guy smokes crack cocaine and operates a major metropolis. I can't even smoke weed and operate a DVD player. You tell me he's not the right guy for the job, for Christ's sakes. Anyways.